Good morning folks, this is a brief ROM overview of the near ROM version 1.2 for my Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the boot up screen, as you can see it's a very different looking boot up screen. It actually writes booting as you can see. Uh, this is Android uh, 4.2.1 based ROM, based on the CM10.1 kernel. This is my lock screen. If I show you, go to the phone, I can show you the few things description about this ROM. As you can see, near ROM, newer Android ROM. Uh, it is based on CM10.1 13 Feb build. It can it has Neek 2.5. You, you get the Sony Xperia launcher, uh, my UI Fire Explorer, clock, music, calculator, sound recorder. You get inverted colors for um, Gmail, YouTube, Xperia keypad, UIV camera, ICS gallery, Samsung Touchways. And you can see and mobile drive engine too, etc. Okay, now onto the phone. As you can see this is a CM10.1 based ROM, as you can see. The email in the notification panel. You can expand it or delete it that way. Okay. Uh, if you swipe from left to right, you go to the widgets panel. It comes with only four widgets built in calendar. The clock, the torch, etc. And as you know, you oops. As you know, you from right to left, you go to the camera. Uh, this is a Huawei based camera. As you can see, it's totally different. I'll go to the camera in the last. For that, I'll just show you some features of the phone. So as you can see, it's very clean install. It consists of an Xperia launcher installed. And it comes with this many apps preloaded. Uh, browser, calculator, as it's a My UI calculator. This is a basic, you can of course, side effect, just switch, move the switch. Back, calendar, the stock calendar you get in this. Uh, you get the chat on over, chat on on Samsung, which I don't like, I don't know why it's included that. You get the clock. My UI clock, as you can see, you have a world clock, alarm, timer. You get downloads, the email section you get. You have to set it up, I haven't set it up at all. And yeah, that's a keyboard, the Sony Xperia keyboard. You get the swipe functionality, which is standard for all Android sets. Pretty nice keyboard, but really problem with this keyboard is that there is no dot. You have to go to the one, you have to always keep hitting the, you can customize it, but there is no dot, punctuation mark. Go back, you get the My UI File Explorer, which is my favorite file explorer for Android. So you can see it's neatly clubbed, music, videos, pictures, documents, APKs, miscellaneous, share. Then you get the gallery ICS, Gmail. Google now, maps, messaging is standard messaging, but the only thing they have changed the icon. Pack, you get the movie studio, music, my UI player. As you can see it's standard my UI interface. Click on all songs, all the songs in your phone. Artist, album, folders, playlist, and you can search. You can navigation, notes. The notes app. Click on this, you can make new notes. Back. You get the people app. Which is the standard. You get the phone app. Click on that. It's a standard ICS or uh, JB dialer. Uh, the Play Store. S Voice. Then you click on the settings, you can see it's standard Android 4.2.1. The developer says will be launching 4.2.2 very soon. Let's see how it goes. You get Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. So you can see it's a pretty fast ROM. You get sound recorder, super user, task manager. Sorry, uh, unique engine. 
you can do all the notification I mean all the changes you want you can boost memory over there update a unique engine voltage control etc voice trailer YouTube okay um, the one thing I like about this Android 4.2.1 it is the, the multitasking pane hopefully I wish I can get my hand out of the way the way things pop up boom and again long press it gets pulled down boom it pops up it gets pulled down again beautiful animation very very fluid very beautiful animation when you click on this button over here everything gets deleted beautiful animation and you can arrange this in recently installed most used own order or alphabetical I prefer alphabetical and you pull down you get the notification tray click on this for the shortcut settings click over here go to settings this is all normal you can change do some modification over here lock screen theme system not too much interest into that two finger swipe will bring sorry two finger swipe will bring the shortcut um, you can add things to your home screen click on this go to oh, add on home screen there it comes chat on and if you can press this you can see a recycle bin popping up go into it you can see it opens that's a very good animation about sony and to add a home screen this is this is a very nice feature wait sorry you can see it pops up you can on things over here show shortcut very beautiful animation the place where you add your widgets, your apps, wallpapers. It comes with the following live wallpapers. Boom. Gallery ICS. Apps. You can install any apps on the home screen like this. Or widgets. You would consider all the widgets built in. Mm, that's just about it. I just want to show you a brief overview of this ROM. If you like Android CM 10.1 ROMs but want a difference in the looks, because all the ROMs are starting to put look very similar these days, this is a phenomenal ROM. Uh, yeah, I didn't show the camera. I'm not too f much of a fan of the camera interface. Uh, it's based on the Huawei camera. Here you go. Very minimalistic camera, just click this. There you take a snap. You can go to video by the switch over here. Um, you get the toggle to change the front and back camera, the flash, and you put here. You get you get the settings, and there's not my settings in this. Screen timer review picture quality, and you get some in, uh, effects like you get it in Instagram um, very poor camera if I have to say about the direct of this ROM the camera is very very poor if they can do something like a touchless camera or something it will be so nice um, that's just about it a brief overview of the Samsung Galaxy S3 running near ROM if you want something different do give this ROM a try it's simply brilliant for that purposes if you want normal CM10.1 go for that or you can go for any touch with Pedro. Till then, bye-bye.